Disregard calls for counseling. CNG test federal government. Hello, viewers. Welcome to my channel. The coalition of Northern Group has again asked the federal government to disregard any call from Igbo ally to release the embattle leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra as in the Kano. This was at it noted that Hypop had the support of many Igbo leaders whose actions, according to the group, were diabolical and had pushed Nigerian to the precipice. The leadership of the CNG led by its postman, Mr. Abdulaziz Sleman, said the renewed pressure by Igbo leaders for the unconditional release of Kano was unreasonable and a recipe for greater conflict. Suleiman spoke in reaction to the call by Anambra State Governor Charles Oludo, who asked the federal government to release Kano unconditionally, noting that he would stand as surety to facilitate the Apple's leader's list. Also, the counsel for Apple, Mr. Fanny Joffo, also told our correspondent in an interview that Kano ought to have been released on October 13, 2022. Knowing the order of the AP court which struck out the charges against him, recently the court of Edas, the Council of Edas of Anizendibo, worldwide had a peace summit to discuss ways of addressing insecurity in the country and the southeast. They also expressed the desire that Kanu should be released unconditionally, a call which Suleiman asked the federal government to discontinence. In the communique signed by his chairman, Chief Emmanuel Liwanyam, the council took the decision on the need to have a peace summit. We want to dialogue with his canons participant. Canons participation in order to have an enduring peace in Nigeria, particularly in the southeast. The council therefore calls on the federal government and all persons consigned to release Namde Kano unconditionally, he cannot be imprisoned while such a crucial summit is being held. Part of the communique read, reacting Suleiman, who spoke in a telephone interview with Saturday Punch on Thursday, said such calls would set a dangerous peace tendency in the country. He noted that it was unpatriotic and unreasonable for leaders to openly shed IPOB and other authors of mindless violence and separatism who see it as their duty to actualize what their father started in 1966, which is to bring about the realization of a separate state of Biafra through the force of arms and terrorist tactics. Today, everyone can see that the diabolical scam planned and exhibited in the action and glamours of IPOP supported morally and politically by the vast majority of the affrighted Igbo elite politicians, traditional rulers, business persons and the larger population of this ethnic group that has pushed Nigeria to the precipice as the representatives of various interest groups from North Nigeria, the CNG has watched and studied those events carefully and with considerable restraint and maturity to the point of condoning and accommodating several unreasonable and unacceptable actions that have been perpetrated against Nigerians collectively and not an ass in particular, Suleiman added, shameless Suleiman. Shameless Suleiman, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I blame those who sold them the no matter who they are. If not, men like you will not come out to rant. A terrorist from pit of hell, calling a responsible man a terrorist. It's not your fault. Is fault of those who sold him. This is what we have always seen. Igbo people always selling their brothers. They are busy dragging leadership after selling their brother. It's quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. 
Dar de aia a bizit dragând, dar și crezi în grup se vreau ea. Asta se lindea, broda. I don't really have more to say about this hotel. But time shall tell. If not, people like Suleiman will not have the audacity to rant. To say any rubbish about indigenous people. These are people whom everybody recognizes and no asteroids upon that. Nobody has always talked about them. They never won, the, even though journalists have never won, they ask them about them. <laughs> but it's quite unfortunate that even as Peter B. came out to draft for presidency, they have continued to drill him to tag a baby asteroids group, to voice it out. Which, of course, he has in different occasions rejected whatever it is they are talking about. This is what we are saying. They not. Few of them can, some of them cannot change. Everybody knows that Nandi Kano has been free. You are useless presidents claim he will free him if court of law free. So what is this nonsense all about? He has won you again the court of law just like he did several years ago. He said you kept him in DSS custody illegally. So who is the terrorist? Are you not the one? Mr. Suleiman Aboki? I don't blame you. Let me go straight to the comment of people. 42 says, has any Nigerian court convicted Mazen Namdekal? The answer is no. Has MK won all these cases against Buhari and the Nigerian state? Yes. He has never been found guilty, but rather has won all the charges against him, yet held the prisoner, even against the advice of the UN. Obviously, this APC government wants nothing to do with democratic rule of law, but always instigate Avoid double trouble, ethnic violence, and citizen lawlessness instead of dialogue. Free Mas Namde Kano now. Buhari, do not leave it for President Pitobi to do. Another person in the comment station session said, his name is Netanyahu. He says, another Fulani terrorist spotted. Why is it that you, Northern terrorists, are? The only ones threatened and the bothered by a free Namde Khan. Why not Chirobats, TVs, Ejors, Benis, Ibibios, Binomans, and very many other indigenous tribes of Nigeria? But Fulani terrorists, Boko Haram fighters, SWAP terrorists, Hensmen, Asaru terrorists, ETC can be rehabilitated and released back into the society after all the atrocities command committed against. Rural folks without battery and I. Injustice and double standard remain the reason why the Fulani terrorists not will never know peace. Everything that has a beginning must surely come to an end. You can continue to shout, to shoot your mouth, because your chief terrorist is in power. Just four months to go. The Wale says all these calls and silly and counter production has given fring elements like a CNJ to be token. What we must all be calling is for the FG to bear the judgment of the court. That is why this election is a waste of time. We must have people's constitution first, where the right of the people cannot be infringed on as done for many Nigerians at the receiving end. Chris Way said, keep him there alive and live by 29th May 2023. It will be taken from there. Left for the CNG, he should be killed on custody, but the government knows the backlash it will bring. Let's pray that nothing happens to him. Offrey says they know the end is coming soon. Wahala. This is all the comment made by people in the comment section. Like I've always said, Mazen Namde Kano has suffered so much. But no doubt our brother sold him. Whoever they are, they will be exposing time to come. Like I said before, 
I don't have more to say. Because I'm tired of talking. People don't understand. They continue to do something that is not right. Instead of them doing the right, something that will bring the Nigerian government to their knees. I've said this several times, but those who are busy, the frauding Igbos, those who are busy claiming that they will give you Biafra today, have never done anything right since they started since a year and nine months now. It's quite unfortunate. But I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay Biafra. <laughs>